inspirational story of Isaac Newton, the genius of generations. In the 17th century, a young man named Isaac Newton was struggling to understand the world around him. He was fascinated by the laws of motion and the nature of gravity, but he couldn't find any answers in the books of his day. I was so frustrated I felt like I was banging my head against a wall. I just couldn't figure out how the universe worked. But Newton was not one to give up easily. He continued to study and experiment, and eventually he made a breakthrough. He discovered the laws of motion and the law of universal gravitation, which would revolutionize our understanding of the physical world. It was an amazing feeling. I had finally found the answers I was looking for. I knew that I had changed the world. Isaac Newton was a genius, but he was also a complex man. He was brilliant, but he was also arrogant and secretive. He was a devout Christian, but he also dabbled in alchemy and other occult practices. Welcome, everyone. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the inspirational life story of Isaac Newton, the man who changed the world. Early Life and Education Isaac Newton was born on January 4, 1643, in Woolsthorpe, England. He was a sickly child and was not expected to live long. However, he survived and showed a talent for mathematics and science from an early age. Newton's mother died when he was three years old, and he was raised by his grandmother. He attended King's School in Grantham, where he excelled in mathematics. He then went on to study at Trinity College, Cambridge, where he graduated with a master's degree in 1665. The 1660s, a period of turbulence. The 1660s were a period of turbulence for Newton. He left Cambridge for two years and returned to Woolsthorpe, where he began to develop his theories on calculus, optics, and gravity. During this time, Newton also suffered a personal crisis. He became obsessed with the occult and alchemy, and he even tried to turn lead into gold. However, he eventually abandoned these pursuits and returned to his work in mathematics and physics. The Development of Calculus, Optics, and Gravity in the 1660s, Newton made significant advances in calculus, optics, and gravity. He developed the foundation of calculus, which is now used in many different fields, including physics, engineering, and economics. He also invented the reflecting telescope and developed the theory of white light. Newton's most important work, Philosophe Naturalis Principia Mathematica, or Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy, was published in 1687. In this book, Newton laid the foundations of classical mechanics. He also developed the law of universal gravitation, which states that every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force that is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Principia Mathematica and the Foundations of Classical Mechanics Principia Mathematica was a landmark work in the history of science. It established Newton as one of the most important scientists in history, and it laid the foundations of classical mechanics. The book's three laws of motion and the law of universal gravitation have been used to explain a wide range of phenomena, from the motion of planets to the behavior of falling objects. Contributions to Optics In addition to his work on calculus and gravity, Newton also made significant contributions to optics. He invented the reflecting telescope, which is a type of telescope that uses mirrors instead of lenses. He also developed the theory of white light, which states that white light is actually a mixture of different colors. Haddings Newton was also interested in haddings, which are a type of mathematical problem that involves finding the greatest common divisor of two or more numbers. He published a book on haddings in 1683 called the Arithmetica Universalis. In this book, Newton developed a systematic method for solving Haddings, which was a significant advance in the field of mathematics. Later Life Newton served as Master of the Mint from 1696 to 1727. He was also President of the Royal Society from 1703 to 1727. Newton died on March 31, 1727, in London. He was buried in Westminster Abbey, where his tomb is a national monument. Successes Newton was a brilliant scientist who made significant contributions to our understanding of the physical world. However, he was also a flawed human being 
who was capable of great cruelty and deception. Failures. One of Newton's most famous failures was his attempt to turn lead into gold. He spent years working on this project, but he was ultimately unsuccessful. Another failure was his relationship with Gottfried Leibniz, who also developed calculus independently of Newton. The two men became bitter rivals, and they engaged in a long and acrimonious dispute over who had invented calculus first. Struggles Newton's greatest struggle was his own personality. He was a brilliant but solitary man, who was often difficult to work with. He was also prone to fits of anger, and he could be vindictive and cruel. Newton's Religious Beliefs Newton was a devout Christian, but he also had a strong interest in alchemy and other occult practices. He believed that the study of these subjects could help him to understand the workings of the universe. Newton's Personality Newton was a brilliant but solitary man. He was often difficult to work with, and he could be vindictive and cruel. However, he was also deeply committed to his work, and he was willing to sacrifice everything for his research. Newton's Influence on Other Scientists Newton's work had a profound impact on the development of science. His theories were used by later scientists to explain a wide range of phenomena, from the motion of planets to the behavior of light. Newton's work also inspired other scientists to pursue their own research. Newton's Legacy Newton is one of the most important figures in the history of science. His work has had a profound impact on our understanding of the physical world and it continues to inspire and inform scientists and engineers today. Isaac Newton was a brilliant but complex figure. He was a devout Christian, but he also dabbled in alchemy and other occult practices. He was a brilliant mathematician and physicist, but he was also a solitary and difficult man. His work had a profound impact on the development of science, and he is considered one of the most important figures in the history of the world. Why is Newton so famous? Here are some of the reasons why Newton was famous. He developed the foundations of calculus, which is now used in many different fields, including physics, engineering, and economics. He invented the reflecting telescope, which is a type of telescope that uses mirrors instead of lenses. He developed the theory of white light, which states that white light is actually a mixture of different colors. He formulated the law of universal gravitation, which states that every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force that is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Funny Moments of Newton When Newton was a student at Trinity College, he once got into a fight with a fellow student. The fight was so intense that Newton's opponent ended up breaking Newton's jaw. Newton was once challenged to a duel by a rival scientist. Newton refused to fight, but he did agree to meet the man in a field and have a discussion about science. The two men talked for hours, and Newton eventually convinced his opponent that he was wrong. Newton was so focused on his work that he once forgot to eat for three days. When he finally remembered to eat, he ate so much that he made himself sick. Newton was a complex and contradictory figure. He was brilliant and original but he was also arrogant and secretive. He was a devout Christian, but he also dabbled in alchemy and other occult practices. Despite his flaws, Newton's work has had a profound impact on the world. He is one of the most important figures in the history of science, and his work continues to inspire and inform scientists and engineers today. That's all for today's video. Feel free to share any helpful information in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching, and see you all soon!